A drinking straw is a utensil that is intended to carry the contents of a beverage to one's mouth. Straws are commonly made from plastics but environmental concerns and new regulation have led to rise in reusable and biodegradable straws. These straws are often made of silicone, cardboard, or metal. A straw is used by placing one end in one's mouth and the other in a beverage. By employing suction, the air pressure in one's mouth drops causing atmospheric pressure to force the liquid through the straw and into the mouth. Drinking straws can be straight or have an angle-adjustable bellows segment. Drinking straws have historically been intended as a single-use product and several countries, regions, and municipalities have banned single-use plastic straws to reduce plastic pollution. Additionally, some companies have even voluntarily banned or reduced the number of plastic straws distributed from their premises. The first known straws were made by the Sumerians and were used for drinking beer, probably to avoid the solid byproducts of fermentation that sink to the bottom. The oldest drinking straw in existence, found in a Sumerian tomb dated 3000 BCE, was a gold tube inlaid with the precious blue stone lapis lazuli. Others claim metal, scepters, discovered in Armenia in 1897 and date to the Makop culture, 3700 to 2900 BCE, as the oldest surviving straws. Argentines and their neighbors have, for several hundred years, used, for drinking mate tea, a similar metallic device called a bombilla, that acts as both a straw and a sieve. In the 1800s, the rye grass straw came into fashion because it was cheap and soft, but it had an unfortunate tendency to turn to mush when put in liquid. American Marvin C. Stone patented the modern drinking straw, eight and a half inches long and made of paper, in 1888, to address the shortcomings of the rye grass straw. He came upon the idea while drinking a mint julep on a hot day in Washington, D.C. The taste of the rye grass straw was mixing with the drink and giving it a grassy taste, which he found unsatisfactory. He wound paper around a pencil to make a thin tube, slid out the pencil from one end, and applied glue between the strips. He later refined it by building a machine that would coat the outside of the paper with wax to hold it together, so the glue would not dissolve in bourbon. Early paper straws had a narrow bore, to prevent seeds from clogging them. It was common to use two of them, to reduce the effort needed to take each sip. Plastic straws became widespread following World War II. The materials used in their manufacture were inexpensive, and the types of restaurant fare that they accompanied had become more affordable and popular. In 1930, Otto W. Diefenbach, Sr., developed and produced a cellophane drinking straw in Baltimore, Maryland. His company known as Glass of Zinc produced straws for restaurants and other products. One patent dates to 1954. The Sr., Mr. Diefenbach served as chairman until 1972 in the business, then based in Towson MD. was sold in 1979. One of the first mass-produced twisted straw was Sip NC invented by Milton Dinhofer. Dinhofer originally patented his straw in the shape of a scissor with two loops on top, but Macy's would not carry the straw unless it had a character on it. They suggested Dinhofer make three straws, eventually patented in 1950, a cowboy, a clown and an animal for which he made an elephant. Each of his characters was attached to a looping soft polyethylene straw, and users were to sip from another detachable, small, straight, straw of acetate. Rexer Corp. copyrighted the straw the same year, but Macy's decided not to carry them. Dinhofer was told the selling price was too low. Dinhofer then turned to Woolworth and convinced the chain to let him deliver some to several of their stores near his home. After one weekend of sales, Woolworths placed an order for all of its stores and Sip NC went national. The straws were sold in individual boxes, and more characters were eventually added. Other buyers began to carry it, too, and it was marketed as an action drinking toy. Sip NC went on to sell approximately 6 million units, and, a decade later, the S shape of the arms on the cowboy straw would inspire Dinhofer's monkey design for Barrel of Monkeys. Drinking straws come in many variations and are manufactured using a variety of materials. The most common form of drinking straw is made of the thermoplastic polymer polypropylene. This plastic is known for its durability, lightness, and ability to be manufactured at a low cost. Other plastic polymers that exhibit these traits include polyethylene (PE) and polyvinyl chloride (PVC). These attributes are what have made the traditional plastic straw ubiquitous in fast food establishments and takeout orders around the world. Additionally, other advantages of plastic straws include their ability to be molded into different shapes and sizes while also being able to withstand a wide range of temperatures without deforming. This is important because straws must be temperature resistant and thermally insulated because they can be used in both hot and cold beverages. One interesting variation of the plastic straw is the bendy straw, commonly referred to in the industry as an articulated straw. 
This straw has a concertina-type hinge near its top to allow for improved maneuverability of the straw when drinking a beverage, especially from a low angle. The articulated straw was invented by Joseph Friedman in 1937. He quickly developed the straw after he saw his daughter struggling to use a normal straight straw. Another variation of the plastic straw, that spoon straw, has a spoon-like tip at the bottom, and is often used with iced slush beverages. Stir straws, with a relatively short length and quite a narrow bore are often given. Along with disposable cups for preparing coffee or tea and serve the primary function of being able to stir in sugar, sweetener, cream, or non-dairy creamer, as well as allowing for sipping a hot beverage. Additionally, boba tea plastic straws with wider openings are commonly used to drink bubble tea, to better accommodate its characteristic tapioca pearls. The tip of these straws is often cut at an angle creating a point which allows one to use the straw to puncture the plastic cover of bubble tea drinks. Plastic straws can also be embellished with some forms marketed as crazy straws, having a number of twists and turns at the top. These straws are often marketed and can be entertaining for young children. The crazy straw was invented by Arthur Philip Gildersleeve and patented in 1936. Environmental concerns, stemming from the impact plastic waste has had on the ocean, have led to a rise in reusable straws. Reusable straws are primarily being manufactured out of polylactic acid, PLA, silicone, and metal. Polylactic acid and silicone straws are the most similar in texture and feel to their plastic counterparts, however, they fit into the category of biodegradable polymers. These types of straws have some benefits over other more ecologically conscious straws because they are resistant to disintegrating in one's drink and provide adequate insulation for hot and cold drinks. One manufacturer of silicon straws even claims that their straws can be burned into biodegradable ash. Metal and glass straws are other reusable alternatives. A vampire straw is a large metal drinking straw with a pointed tip that allows it to double as a dagger-like weapon. A man was arrested at Boston Logan International Airport after a vampire straw was confiscated from his carry-on luggage. Some companies such as Starbucks have moved away from plastic straws. Bamboo straws are sometimes made from the Moso bamboo tree. Plastic straws are not recyclable and may continue to pollute various aspects of the environment, including bodies of water and streets, for over 200 years due to their lack of proper disposal. The image of a plastic straw lodged into the nostril of a sea turtle, filmed by marine biologist Christine Figener, quickly spread across all forms of media and spurred the elevation of awareness regarding the potential danger of plastic straws for marine life. One anti-straw advocacy group has estimated that about 500 million straws are used daily in the United States alone, an average 1.6 straws per capita per day. Plastic straws amounted to 5 to 7.5 percent of all waste collected from beaches during the 2017 International Cleanup Event, conducted by Ocean Conservancy. In total, they are less than 0.022 percent of plastic waste emitted to oceans. As of 2023 several eco-friendly alternative materials have been tried. Among them are hay straws, bamboo straws, seaweed straws, and straws made from naturally dried fallen coconut leaves. Some pro-environment critics have argued that plastic straw bans are insufficient to address the issue of plastic waste, and are mostly symbolic. Since plastic straws account only for a tiny portion, 0.022%, of plastic waste emitted in the oceans each year, 